if you're new welcome so wonderful to have you here thank you so much for your support by liking by sharing my videos by commenting on them and also by subscribing to my channel this really helps a lot thank you so much for that and today i would like to bring something very important to your attention and that is microplastics microplastics are extremely dangerous for our environment and for our health and i just saw a news that it really should be in all media because it is very very important for our environment for our health and that information is that for the first time ever for the first time ever microplastic was found in human placenta microplastics found for the first time in human placenta that is very very bad as we know microplastic was found in pretty much all sea animals and microplastics are almost 10 microns in diameter they can be really stick to everything in every tissue by also inhaling them not only by uh, consumption but also by inhaling them and because uh, 10 microns are so small they can easily enter into the bloodstream that is why it is extremely dangerous we also know that other particles can easily stick to those microplastics and enter into the bloodstream and into the tissues of animals uh, and also living beings and so that is why it is extremely important that we pay attention to microplastics in our environment globally more than 300 million tons of plastic is produced every single year in our world more than 300 million tons Think about that. From these 300 million tons of plastic, only 9% of them are being recycled. When we put this into numbers, this is really unbelievably crazy. All the rest of this, 91% of the plastic has been produced around the globe, is ending up in landfills and waterways in our food and in our body so it is extremely important that we pay attention to this and please share this video so now let me backtrack and explain what they saw in the human placenta researchers at san giovanni calibita fate bene fratelli i hope i pronounced that right hospital in rome reported that they found microplastic particles in the placenta of four women who had normal pregnancies and births. The babies were delivered using a non-plastic protocol in order to prevent contamination. The particles were found on both sides of the placenta in the chorioamnoidic membranes. Most of these microplastics were 10 microns in size. This means, as I said before, a size that easily penetrates into the bloodstream. So that's why it's extremely dangerous. In total, 12 pieces of plastic were found in four women. Only 4% of each placenta was analyzed. So it's possible that the total number of foreign bodies could be higher. So in total, 12 pieces of plastic was found in four women, in the placenta of these four women, but only 4% of that area of the placenta of each woman was analyzed. With only 4% of the locations of the placenta of each woman, 12 pieces was found. So if they would have analyzed the entire placenta, they probably would have found much more. That's what they said. The researchers also said that Further research is needed to identify whether these microplastics found in placenta affects the development of the fetus as well as their immune system. So very interesting study, very interesting news. I wanted to share this with you. Microplastics are extremely dangerous. Most of them found in fish. So if you 
eat fish, often think about this twice. Also, microplastics are also not what we are consuming, but also what we are inhaling. So microplastics, unfortunately, are everywhere. Everywhere we go, everything we eat, everything we touch, everything we inhale. So unfortunately, this is a very, very dangerous topic and has to be spread widely, made aware of widely by everyone. So please be one of those, share this video. Microplastics can be avoided if we use non-plastic items and also if we not keep producing things like uh, clothing that are different than natural, like different than cottons, for example, right? Uh, all these plastic microplastics are integrated into our clothing. The plastic bags, everything that is not natural and everything that cannot degrade in nature is plastic, plastic based. So please be aware don't use plastic based items but unfortunately these microplastics are everywhere creams that we are using makeup that we are using food that we are eating it's in everything so yes eating organic is important however also the day-to-day -day life what we are doing is also very important so for example if we go and drink a starbucks coffee or any coffee shop and drink it from a plasticky cartony type cups every single time we consume the drink the hot drink we are taking in these tiny micro plastics into our body be aware be cautious do your research identify and find out what you can do to avoid every day these microplastics again microplastics are everywhere it is really hard to avoid them that's why it is important that you share this video make people aware make sure that the governments pay attention to this and this is how we can finally address or the governments address these earth crises, these crises of plastics in the environment and thus the microplastics. So very important topic. Please like and share this video with others. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you want to know more about topics like this. I'm a biologist. I'm happy to share all the environmental news with you or research with you because that's my thing since i was little so let me know thanks for watching i will see you in the next video take care